not say what they wanted from me, but I saw the darkness in their eyes. I'm sorry, I have nothing to offer in return for your sacrifice, but I shall see to it that my brothers know you are a friend. So, we finally meet. We've a murderer nearby.
You, Altair. You scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Dish le camp. <laughs> Someone should stop him before he hurts himself. If he hurts himself, I'm not helping. A relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me.
Let me rear for a moment, Altair. William of Montferrat has replaced many of the district's honest merchants with men loyal to his cause. He seeks to weaken faith in King Richard by overcharging honest citizens for poorly crafted goods. These corrupt merchants must be removed. Find their stands and destroy them. Be gone, No, Mom. you don't understand. I'm poor, sir. I need the money. Please, sir, have any money. Mm -hmm. Go to bed, man. Back here. Something sure your life <laughs> ends. <laughs> It may seem a small thing you've done today, but it's important nonetheless. This bit of paper should prove useful when you finally face William. Altair, what brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master, but he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. and souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored their end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. 
<laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arca's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point! But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, Your Grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. Oh, I have a much larger sword than that. Let's leave here this instant if you value your life. My sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. and we will triumph. Walter, however, and you will join these men. Be La sure of it. Dismissed!
You're a sneaky one, but you'll stumble, and I'll be there waiting. Rest now. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better. Blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial, Akra does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? Their food? No, no. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly even. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You, who speak of good intentions. Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the, Crus and the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with al -Mualim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. 